Hey everybody, welcome to The Dose. My name is Brian McIntosh. And you know, I got to thinking about something pretty funny tonight um, as I fell down on a couple of my own self-discipline resolutions today. I went and had uh, some fantastic, what I think is might be the best Mexican food in San Diego, California. And I, I won't tell you what the restaurant is, but it was absolutely, um, actually I will tell you, it's La Quinta, it's over in Benita. If you get a chance to go there, it's fantastic. But anyway, I uh, was there having queso fundido and some steak ranchero and realizing that um, my daily action plan, one of the things that I do in my battle rhythm, one of the, the goals that I have every day is to eat with discipline and I have some criteria that I follow, you know, that, um, that, that, that helps me to meet that goal for every day. And that did not apply tonight. <laughs> right? I'm going to let you know that no matter what your criteria, your threshold is, queso fundido is never, never going to make it. <laughs> never going to meet the bar for being considered eating with discipline. But regardless, the, what made me think of, of the dose for today was being there at dinner and realizing that tonight when I go break out my, uh, dis, my daily discipline tracker, and I'm writing down the things that I did and didn't do well today. When I get to eat with discipline, I'm going to have to put an X next to today. Because I did not eat with discipline. Now, what's the point of all this? The point is that we as human beings suffer from short-term memory loss. You know, we make commitments to ourselves and then we just kind of forget that we made those commitments. Don't we do that? We, you know, we say things like, oh, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to go to the gym. And man, we go once and then maybe twice and a few days goes by. And I mean, within a month, somebody will say to you, didn't you get a gym membership? Like, yeah, yeah, I went a couple times. I got to get back in there. But you just kind of forget about it. And one of the principles that you'll see written all of the time, personal development books, any kind of personal development audios, personal development speakers and coaches will always tell you that you should write down your goals every single day. You should write them down and they will manifest in your life. Guys, I want you to know I don't believe in the hocus pocus. I don't believe in the jump in the mumbo jumbo. I don't believe in miracles. You write down a goal and all of a sudden it just miracles into your life. I don't believe there's a giant genie in the sky saying your wish is my command. It's not my belief. But here's what I do believe. I believe that all of those things that you hear about manifestations and and and, and affirmations and all those things, here's what they do. They remind you every single day of what it is you're going after so that your intention stays high. Because you see, each and every one of us, because we are human beings, there is a law. And that law is called the law of diminishing intent. And because we're human beings, we are subject to this law. And I want you to know these laws are no less applicable than the law of gravity or the law of inertia. They are fact. And the law of diminishing intent says that your intention to do something will never be greater than in the moment that you make the commitment to do it. In other words, if you make a commitment to do something today, every single moment that passes after that, your intent goes down. Your willingness to do what it takes or to follow through on that decreases every day. So here's what you must do. You must recommit daily so that your intention stays high. And so that you'll actually follow through and you'll actually do what you said you would do, when you said you would do it, in the manner you said you would do it. And so writing your goals down every single day, it's not some magic pill, guys. What it is, is it's a recommitment to that goal so that you can keep your intention high, so that you can follow through and actually do it and rise and meet your goals. See, we suffer from short-term memory loss. We make a commitment today and a week and a half from now, we can't even remember what we decided we were going to do unless you recommit to it every single day. So that's what writing down your goals every single day is about. It's about reminding your own brain, I'm recommitting to this again today. Again today, I've decided to do what it takes to make this happen. That's what affirmations are about. Looking in the mirror and saying, you know, I'm a man of integrity. If you say that every single day, here's what happens. It's on the top of your mind. So when the phone rings and your daughter answers and you're about to go, tell them I'm not here, you remember, oh wait, I'm a man of integrity. Yes, honey, give me the phone. I'll let them know I can't talk. You know, or whatever the case might be. You know, the piece of, piece of paper falls out of your car door when you open it and you're about to get back in. And instead of just leaving it there and closing the door and driving away, you bend down, you reach down, you pick it up and put it back in the car. Why? Because you reminded yourself in the morning when you wrote out your goals or when you did your affirmations right? That you were a person of integrity. 
And so that, that therefore it's at the top of your mind and it will remind you and it will affect your behaviors as you go throughout the day. So it's not magic. It's not mumbo jumbo, but it is absolutely 100% as effective as magic when it comes to helping you to overcome your short-term memory loss, helping you to overcome the law of diminishing intent. See, you don't have to overcome that law, you just have to know how to work within it. And if you understand the law of diminishing intent, then you understand that reaffirming your goals and reaffirming your intentions every single day with both affirmations and written goals is what will keep you on track mentally, keep it top of mind consciousness, keep yourself thinking about it so that as you make the daily decisions throughout your day that will lead you in one of two directions, you'll make the decisions that take you where you want to go and help you to achieve your dreams. And with that knowledge, guys, you are armed and dangerous to go out there. You know what to do. Make it a great day.